people, this is Vanita and welcome to the first episode of Late Night Thoughts with Vanita. This is the first time that I'm actually putting myself out so candid and wanting to talk about things that I don't usually talk about, especially on a public platform. Along with talking, I'm sitting here with a bare face. So I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine because I haven't done that. My skin feels really dry at this point because I just washed it. So today's topic is going to be about social media and uh, the work and efforts that goes behind say YouTube or Instagram and the life of a small content creator. I can say small content creator because uh, I have around 4k following on my uh, Instagram and then on YouTube I have 600 plus subscribers. So um, I think I am good enough to qualify to the small content creator space. So I'm going to talk about how and what I go through uh, with, with, you know, uh, putting every video or making every post on Instagram. And yeah, all the brand deals and stuff like that. And I'm really breathless today for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little nervous because I've never been so candid ever that to, on the internet. This might be a little long kind of a video, a little chatty. But yeah, please bear with me because I'm going to... I'm going to be spilling out a lot of beans uh, on what goes behind the scenes for every single picture or a video. Anyways, uh, yeah. So what I would like to start off with is I started my Instagram journey when I was in second PU. That is uh, three years back. Okay, first PU. But I got a little serious when I was in second PU because I had a lot of free time then. Yeah, know how. So I, I became a little serious then and I wanted to go about uh, with, you know, uh, this entire thing because I found it really cool. And initially... I didn't know it could be this hard because um, over time the competition increased so much in this uh, industry that I somehow started feeling maybe I'm I, maybe I don't fit in there. So it was an on and off, on and off kind of thing for me um, in my twelve. So slowly, slowly I stepped into engineering with the same kind of journey. And once I stepped into engineering, I kind of realized that. Uh, you know, starting a YouTube channel at this point could be the thing that I actually need. And uh, without a second thought, I actually started my channel and the first video that I posted was <laughs> Types of Engineering Students, I think. Yeah, Types of Engineering Students. And the worst part was, I think it was my first week or second week in college. I had absolutely no idea about engineering life. And I just wanted to post a video. So I went about uh, and posted my first engineering types of engineering students. And initially, I wanted my channel to be very comical and sketches and all of this. But then I lost interest. So I lost interest in comical videos because I thought it's not unique enough. In fact, the thing that I'm doing right now is again not unique. But... I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. I was just not interested in that anymore. So slowly, slowly, I started um, putting my hands into lifestyle, fashion, a little bit of beauty, and tiny, tiny things every now and then. Then uh, motivation, because I love speaking, okay? I, I love speaking on stage. I love public speaking. I know you, you generally hear people say, oh my God, I hate public speaking, but I'm that I'm that soul who loves speaking, who loves holding the mic and talking on stage because I feel so home at that point. I feel like this is where I belong and I, I love it. You could actually, you, I really, really hope you could, you could, you know, you can radiate the energy that I'm throwing at y'all right now because talking about it and thinking about being on stage itself is a very happy feeling for me. And um, that is why I decided to make motivational videos as well on YouTube and a lot of daily vlogs and travel vlogs. And I enjoyed the process. I did enjoy the process of making, you know, um, these uh, comical videos. But more than that, I enjoyed um, normal day life and content based on my daily life. Because it made me feel like y'all can connect with me better. And that's what I wanted. That's what I always wanted. I just wanted an audience that can connect and um, understand what it is and all of that. So um, after that, yeah. So this was my uh, thing, how I started my YouTube and this is how I started my social media. This is what went behind. So th as a little girl, even I would say I was a little girl even when I was 18, 19 because I did not really 
know a lot. So my first breakthrough from this entire thing was when I got my first brand collaboration, a big brand collaboration. I used to, you know, work uh, with Plixo. In fact, I still do, but I don't really work as much. But uh, before when I signed up on Plixo as an influencer, as a campus ambassador, so at that point of time, I did uh, end up getting a few brands every now and then and initially Plixo used to pay as well. So my first salary would be around 500, I think. Yeah, my first salary was around 500 salary. In sense, the first earning was 500. For a post that I made for Moby Quick, I'm not sure, okay, I'm not sure. One of these brands and I got paid pretty well so I did it in fact I didn't understand how everything goes at that point but uh, one day I get a collaboration call with lifestyle stores for ginger and ginger being the brand that I've worn before and I liked using so I went about with it I kind of liked working but I felt like I never had the um, time and space to do what I really want to do I just had to make and give them content. Although they were a beautiful brand to work with, I really enjoyed their clothes. So yeah, and somehow I was not really convinced about the kind of work that I was doing there, but I still ended up finishing it. I did it for a year, for 12 months, and the entire experience was, I would say, smooth. It was nice. After that, um, during this time, I met Kritika Kurana and I met, um, yeah, I met Kritika Kurana during this time. And slowly I collaborated with Kazoo, Max and quite a few brands. And all of these, I'll be very honest, came to me through Plixo. So Plixo was this one platform which connected uh, me to all the brand collaborations that I used to initially get. But um, I was, you know, happy about all of this. On YouTube, I was actually doing blogs. I enjoyed showing my college life and all of this. But at some point, I got really, really disappointed in what I, what I actually was going on. Because I did work quite hard. Um, you know, even if you, even if I couldn't put out the best of the best pictures, but whatever went up was with a lot of hard work. Even the captions had a lot of effort put into it. Even the videos on my YouTube channel had a lot of efforts into it. But the only thing I was not happy about was the engagement. I never really got very good engagement. So that made me really, really low and... In fact, it came to a point where I did not feel like posting content anymore. So that's why I'm here to tell you, if you are a small content creator like me, then remember one thing. It's very important to actually maintain your, your niche, okay? Like what you want to do. And if you can do that, slowly, but definitely you will see results. And I can say that so confidently because... Um, even now, even now, my Instagram, more than growing, um, I can see followers reducing. It's very, um, very irritating at a point and sometimes I feel like, God, what is happening? Because when you put efforts, it might not, not be the best, okay, but you're still putting in effort. So the, the thing that you have put in efforts and you're not receiving uh, the benefits out of it makes you feel like, um, you know, I think this is not for me sort of sort of a thing so um you know i came across a lot of people on my uh, instagram dms i think two young girls okay they wanted to actually create content and surprisingly they found my account so they felt uh, right to text me and they asked me is it important to show off your body to gain followers to gain engagement and all of that because um nowadays on instagram that's what we see a lot I am not saying it's wrong. It's totally up to, you know, it's totally up to you. You're the user of that page. You can definitely do what you want to do in your uh, page. So if you're really comfortable uh, doing it, if you're really comfortable with a new photo shoot or a semi-new photo shoot, that's completely okay. But somewhere, somewhere I felt that that is setting a wrong example for creators who really want to do something, but they have all of this in their head. I don't know, I mean, these are my thoughts. Please don't, uh, you know, um, come at me. This is what I just felt. For some reason, um, maybe we were setting uh, the bar a bit high, maybe the expectations a bit high by uploading different kinds of pictures. Even a little show of any body part is not me it's maybe not okay with like a few people but for us it might be okay so that's when i understood that you know um as influencers 
it's very very important to see your audience to actually notice uh, the kind of audience that follows you and their age because at no point even even if you have 1000 followers you still do not want to spread out any any false uh, news or any false expectations or any false um what do i say uh you know just as um a mark you should put out any false marks saying you need to do this to be a content creator and one sad thing is yes i have personally noticed a few people in my own account not like my account like when i see a few people a few people i know personally in fact a few of them initially had very less followers but uh, the minute they started posting pictures of them a little exposed i wouldn't i i do not feel it's bad okay but the minute they started posting pictures like that they instantly got followers and i'm not kidding instantly their their follower count went up like that and when i say it i mean it and that's when um, i realized maybe all of this is adding is contributing to this one factor uh, in the heads of small or you know um aspiring content creators to keep in mind before creating their own channel or before starting their own instagram page or their own social media journey which i felt was really wrong it shouldn't be that way but i honestly do not know how we can change this because one way it's their account you can't really tell them anything and it's completely fine dude everybody has their own life everybody has their own liking so some things you might not like i might like some things i might not like the other person could so you can never ask them to be the way you want them to be but somewhere we have to look into how we can actually um change the minds of aspiring creators and break the barrier and tell them that you know what it actually works on sheer talent if you have the talent you can work on any platform and uh, you don't have to necessarily be um you know uh, with skimpy clothes or anything like that you can wear you can be however comfortable you are you can be in your own comfortable clothes you can just do anything you want but everything works on talent and how interactive you are with your audience it's very very important to be interactive with your audience and understand what they like which is exactly why at the end of every video i ask people to either like my video if they liked it or if they did not like it for some reason dislike that video because it's important to know what your viewers are uh, you know uh, viewers choices are and what they like and what they dislike so you can maybe change it ask them for suggestions how you can improve and all of this so this is a small note to all you aspiring content creators if any one of you all are watching me at this point it's okay all right the growth is going to be very slow um it it depends on your luck if you're lucky enough or if you're really talented you can grow up like that but at the same time if you are not uh, you know really confident it takes time even now when i have to sit in front of a camera and speak it definitely does take quite a long time to adjust to it uh, sometimes i get nervous sometimes although i love doing it but it's okay to get nervous it's okay to feel uh, weird it's okay to have butterflies in your stomach but the day you post a video please remember to be a little consistent the mistake i made was i was inconsistent enough and that's why my channel has really less growth so please be consistent when you're posting and i'm not kidding this is a genuine fact because from the time of start being consistent um my you know analytics have become much better than before and yeah the day i reach 1000 subscribers i am going to you know unhide my subscriber count that's something that i just did for the fun of it that's what it is um and uh, yeah so what i would like to say is be consistent uh, bring out some original content as well as do some um common content what people would like to see for example what's in my bag what's in my makeup kit what uh, what i eat in a day or maybe just a daily vlog because a lot of people enjoy watching others um go about with their day and this is after every research that i've done cuz uh, you know those videos do good in my my account so you know you can go about with a little common videos but also please have your specification please be um you know uh, stick to your niche if you are talking about lifestyle completely in your channel then continue with just lifestyle i do not want to have a a label on my channel i just want to keep it me i want to keep it as my space so i end up posting videos uh, based on what i feel like and how i feel like that particular day and keep a schedule for yourself 
post on one day a week start off posting once a week and slowly slowly when you get the hang of it post twice a week because having more videos can help you um, engage with your audience much better connect your audience through instagram ask them to follow you on instagram and keep updating your stories um, react and you know interact with your audience and just have these polls and all of that so this way your instagram and your youtube can grow and coming to instagram please use relevant captions please use relevant uh, hashtags and tag a few um, brands that you have actually used in that picture and that one way you can actually sort of get brand collaborations so it all depends on your reach of course first thing that you need to do is make a public account so have a public account and then go about with all of these yeah these are the things but the dark side of social media is it's disappointing it's very demotivating um do not have any expectations because whatever you expect things don't don't go that way and uh, that causes a lot of content creators to actually feel really sad and disappointed about it so yeah do not have any expectations do not start a channel on youtube just for uh, you know uh, the earning part of it because trust me when i say this it's not easy to earn on youtube it takes a long long time for every channel to get monetized and if you want to start a channel just to earn then please don't do that do it if you are passionate about it or else it will not work for you and it's just like an extra burden so don't don't do it if you are not in it for real and um, yeah that's that's the dark side of it and you're going to get a lot of hate um <laughs> it is just that you're going to get a lot of hate for it uh for a lot of things you do in fact i do not know how much hate am i going to get for this video as well but i would say be mentally strong and prepared for it you should not be prepared for uh you should not uh, be okay with taking hate and stuff but at the same time do not uh let that affect your mental peace a lot because sometimes uh there's this one thing that always keeps me going and that is you know people who really want to be at your place and are unable to do so are the ones who throw shade at you so this is something that keeps me going sometimes i do cry sometimes i do feel bad about uh, you know everything that i read uh, and, and it's okay it's fine it's okay we will grow out of it but uh, you know there's nothing we can do about haters we can't change everybody's uh, mindset right we can't we can't change the way they think about everything so what we can do is continue our passion if if you are doing something right and 10 people like it there would be that one person who still hates it so there is no point uh, you know breaking your head about it just let it go just look at it and be like oh fuck i have to make that <laughs> be like oh i i don't care and just scrap it out that's it that's all uh that's what i do and i would suggest you to do the same uh, so yeah this is the dark side this has been a long chatty video about social media about youtube i do not know if it really made sense but i really hope maybe one or two of you all who are watching this video at this point had some realization or were able to you know decide something or were able to actually make a choice between that or this <laughs> This is why I call it late night thoughts because my mind is all over the place. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this video, and I am literally, literally sitting in my night suit, and I'm trying to like actually make sense. <laughs> if you watched this video till here, then please, please do not forget to like the video. If you didn't like it, then you can definitely go ahead and dislike this video. And also in the comment sections, do let me know uh, your thoughts about the late night sessions. If you all like it, you all don't like it. Uh, should I do more? And the topics that you all want me to cover. Sometimes in the night is the time I have a lot of thoughts in my head, and I would love to speak it out. I generally do it on Instagram, so I thought why not target YouTube as well? Because if it helps one, that's my work done. <laughs> that rhymes. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's it, and I will see you very soon with my next. late night thoughts uh, although i will be posting uh, actual content on this channel itself um on monday at 12 pm so tune in don't forget to hit the subscribe button please guys 75% of you all actually watch my videos and do not subscribe to my channel please help me uh, reach my 1000 subscribers mark it means a lot to me so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the tiny bell icon so you're notified every time i upload a video and i will be uploading this late night talk um, late in the night because 
I feel like that's when most of us really want to slip into a talk zone. And yeah, I have been talking so much. I finished my night care routine and I will be showing this in maybe a separate video. Until I see you all next time, please stay home, stay safe, be happy, spread positivity and um, don't be negative to people. Don't hate people. If you don't like them, just ignore them, but don't hate them. And yeah, I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Love you guys.